When Dr. John Tu goes to University Hospital, this is where he works, inside the human brain. Dr. Tu is known around the world as one of the great neurosurgeons. It takes confidence beyond what you or I could ever imagine. Lives truly are in your hands and future of people and their families are in his hands. And that's just an awesome responsibility. He's performed 12,000 operations at the edge between life and death using some of the most advanced technology in the world. Look at this. It shows all the blood vessels, all the veins, the arteries. It's just mind-boggling what you can see all around this tumor. We know exactly where everything is located and we can plan our attack like in a very stealth-like way. These are the diagnostic tools used by the neuroradiologist and the brain surgeon today. This is what Dr. Lucan and I used to do. We'd kind of put our heads together like this and I'd try to show him an x-ray and we'd hold him up to the light. Like For the past 40 years, these two friends, Dr. Tu and Dr. Robert Lucan, collaborated on many breakthroughs. Well, he does think a little differently than many of the people I work with, but um, I mean, I, I think it's extraordinary that he's always looking for the next new thing. For example, Dr. Tu brought microsurgery to Cincinnati. He was the first to use lasers in neurosurgery. He developed new treatments to relieve trigeminal neuralgia and unbearable pain in the face, and new treatments for aneurysms in the brain. He wrote a two-volume book on how to treat aneurysms, brain tumors, and other conditions. He even invents surgical instruments. It's all for his patients who turn to him in their moment of crisis. Like Archbishop Daniel Polarczyk, when he suffered a ruptured aneurysm in his brain, Dr. Tew performed the surgery. John gave Polarczyk the most wonderful gift that he had to give, and that was his skills in that instrument and that time when he was on the brink of life and death. Everybody's looking for the same thing. H-O-P-E, hope. They're all looking for hope. Hopefully that hope will come in the form of a, a cure, but it doesn't always. But hope always comes. The way he can walk into a patient's room and just sit down on a bed and grab their hand and just sit there with them and make them feel better without ever saying anything is just, it's amazing to see. Hey. <laughs> Blake Eilers felt that personal touch. Seven years ago, Dr. Tu removed a brain tumor from this young, competitive cyclist. And since he's also a cyclist, they bonded. It, it really was pretty touching how he demonstrated his concern for me. The Eilers especially remember when Dr. Tu saw them right before surgery. He, he just like suggested, let's, let's pray, and they, they held hands and prayed right there in the waiting room. So that was, that was pretty significant. I think it's a spiritual gift. John Tu thinks his gift for medicine started on his family's North Carolina farm. That's where he first performed surgery at hog killing time. I learned a lot about cutting from my grandfather and my father on the farm. John was the first in his family to go to college, actually a junior college. That led him to Wake Forest University, to medical school, and then a prestigious fellowship in Switzerland where he studied the new science of microsurgery. Dr. Tu married the daughter of a Cincinnati physician, and in 1969, when he was recruited by the Mayfield Clinic, he brought Susan back home. You gotta have somebody who keeps you grounded, and that's what my wife Susan does every day. He sees through the prism of crisis, and mom sees through the prism of what happens between crises, and I think she grounds him in a critical way. For 20 years, Dr. Tu led the university's Department of Neurosurgery. His most ambitious project has been the UC Neuroscience Institute. It's a unique place where more than 100 doctors team up to treat patients and teach students. There's also a state-of-the-art neurointensive care unit. They don't need to take a, an airplane to New York or to Boston or to 
Houston to another famous institution, for them it's a local call, it's right here. After four decades, there's no sign that Dr. Tew is slowing down. I'm at my desk and he comes in and he's on his Blackberry talking about his latest community project and he's got his iPhone flipping through the pictures from his bike ride he did that morning and by that time he's already had triple the daily servings of fruits and vegetables and he just finished performing a few brain surgeries for the day and you look down at your watch and it's 10 a.m. Dr. Tew's focus remains improving our health his vision for the UC Neuroscience Institute created a national treasure for us in Cincinnati. And this surgeon, a symbol of hope to his patients, still offers his skill and his spirit when they face the biggest crisis of their lives. He has given them hope when there was no hope. He's given them an opportunity to see a future that they may have given up on. That's an incredible contribution. That's absolutely amazing.